Hello students, my name is Yudith Ngami. I'm a gear up tutor at Eastwood Middle School and today we're going to be going over geometric transformations, in particular over rotations. So what you need to know is that there's two directions for rotations. You can either rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. Within those rotations, there's four different degrees which the rotation can happen. A 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, or a 360 degree. We're going to go over all four in the next slide. So to begin with, a 90 degree rotation clockwise, these are the rules that you guys need to memorize in order to know what happens to your coordinate when such a degree um, rotation happens. So when a 90 degree clockwise rotation happens, your X and your Y are going to flip and your X is gonna become its opposite. Remember that whenever there's a negative sign, it doesn't mean it's a negative, it means it's its opposite sign. So in this case, 7, 10 turns into 10, negative 7, because the 10 takes the place of the Y, it just flips, and the 7 is now its opposite sign, so it would be negative 7. In the second example, we have negative 9 and negative 4. Again, they flip, the Y remains the same, and the X turns into its opposite sign, so now instead of being negative, it's going to be positive. The same thing occurs with counterclockwise except that now the one that's changing to its opposite sign would be the y instead of the x. Here we have two examples. Negative 6 flips and is now on this side. So your x flips and the one that's going to change signs is your y. So the x remains the same, the y changes to its opposite sign. So from 3 to negative 3, same thing down here. Negative 8 now turns into a positive 8 and the 2 remains the same. In 180 rotation, there is simply one formula. It is easy enough. It is only telling you that it's the exactly the opposite. So both your x and your y coordinates are going to be the opposite. So in this, these examples, 3 and 5, the opposite of those are it is negative 3 and negative 5. Your second example, negative 7, negative 8, the opposite is 7 and 8. And 2, negative 9, the opposite would be negative 2, negative 9. Your coordinates simply flip to its complete opposite signs. In a 270 rotation, a clockwise, again, your X and your Y are going to flip. So remember that they're going to flip, but with a clockwise, clockwise rotation, the Y will be the one that changes to its opposite sign. So again, two examples, 7 and 10. So which one changes its sign? The 7. The Y stays the same, and the 7 will change to its opposite sign. Again, in the second example, negative 9, negative 4. Your negative 4 stays the same, and the 9 changes to its opposite sign. Now, in your counterclockwise, it's the opposite. The X will be the one to change to its opposite sign. So again, two examples, 7, 10. Your 10 remains the same. They flip. Remember that your coordinates do flip. And the 7 turns into its opposite, negative 4 remains the same, and nine turns, negative 9 turns into 9, its opposite. Now we have a 360 rotation, which just means you went in a full rotation, a full circle, so nothing happens. Your coordinates stay exactly the same. 10, 15 stays 10, 15. You just went in a full circle. So here's a quick review. These are um, all of the rotations that you need to memorize here is a graph where you can see them. You can either take a screenshot of this, save this, write it down in your ISN, on a paper, and remember that if you ever need additional help, go to tutor.com. It is available to you guys 24-7 to get additional help. Thank you guys. Bye.